Midjourney just released a new update which gives you the ability to personalize images that you create based on your own preferences. It's something that they're referring to as the personalized parameter or dash dash P. How this works is when you create images and add the parameter to your prompt, the Midjourney bot takes into account personalized preferences you've designated. Later in the video, I'm going to show you how to get access to the new parameter. But first, here's a set of images that I created with no modifications and I did not include my own personalized parameter. And then here's another set of images using the same prompt, but this time my personalized parameter has been added. There's a lot of different images. One looks almost as if it's cartoon drawing. The other one looks like it's been stylized very colorfully. And some of these other ones look like they're from a fashion shoot. In the output of the prompt, you'll notice at the end, there's a string of characters that I'm highlighting here. This is my own personalized parameter that Midjourney created. When I show you how to create yours, yours will look completely different. The cool thing is, is you can use other people's personalization parameters and apply them to your own images. Feel free to use mine. So how can you get this personalized parameter for yourself? It starts by going to the Midjourney website. After logging in, there's two ways to create this parameter. First, Midjourney will build it based on images that you like in the Explore tab by clicking on the Heart button. The second method is on the left, you have the Tasks section. If you click on it and you go to Rank Images, you're asked to rank images by choosing between the ones on the left or the ones on the right and which one that you prefer. There's no right or wrong answer to this because it's just what images out of the two you want to pick. Midjourney says you need roughly 200 images liked or ranked for the bot to create your own personalized parameter. And there's no limit to the amount of images that you can rank or like. And if there's a set of images presented, but for whatever reason you don't like either of them, you can click the skip button in the top right corner. The more you rank or like images in Midjourney, it will allow the bot to continue to evolve your personalized parameter. After getting to 200 images, you won't see a pop-up message or anything telling you that your personalized parameter has been created. You should just test this by creating an image on the website or in Discord and adding dash dash p at the end of your prompt. When the image is finished generating, navigate to the Create folder and you should see on the right a personalized callout with the specific string of characters that would be for you. But you don't need to type out the string of characters fully. All you need to do is just type in dash dash p and Midjourney will automatically know what to do. Back in Discord, you can either manually type in the personalized parameter every single time you create a new set of images, or you can have it applied automatically by making some tweaks in the settings. To do this, hit slash, type in settings, hit enter twice. You'll see the personalization button. Click on it, and when it changes to green, this tells you that the parameter will be applied to all images automatically moving forward. If you ever wanted to turn it off, follow the exact same steps again that I just outlined, click on it, and it will go back to gray. If you want to control the strength of personalization, you, you could also add the stylized parameter, which has a range of 0 to 1000, with the default being 100. To do this, type in your prompt, hit the space bar, and then add in dash dash p, hit the space bar again, and then type in dash dash s, space again, and then any number from 0 to 1000. So this was the first set of images that I created using the stylized, in addition to the personalized one. Because the weighting is 0, there's nothing that stylized has added. It's completely bare bones, just with the personalization. Here's what it looks like when the value is 25, so it's ratcheting up some of the styling. Here you can tell in the original it was much darker, not a lot of detail in the background. Whereas this one is enhanced, you can see a lot more lighting and you can see a lot of the crowd details in the background. And here's an example when the styling is at 555. So this gives a little bit more liberty, it's wildly different. Now you're getting extreme close-up shots. Going back to personalization, here's a set of images I created with the personalized parameter only. This one is a pop art portrait shot of a Roman gladiator. This one is sports photography of a F1 race car. This one is a miniature diorama of football players running down the field. This one is a fashion shoot with two models. This one is photo photography of steak and potatoes. And this one is wildlife photography of a hummingbird. If you're looking to learn more about Midjourney, from how to get started, to scaling up from a beginner to a pro, to creating multiple consistent characters, I have a playlist you can watch by clicking right here.